um, but I knew there wasn't a lot in it. And then when I looked round and I was two up on Russell and he got a pair to shoot, then I thought, well, you know, I've got a silver. Well, our, our, our Minister of Sports here, Kate Hoey, who's a big shooting fan, just wants to say many congratulations. Oh, Thank you, Kate. He taught me, you know. Did, did he? Because <laughs> no, Kate, really. Kate shoots. Now, We're so proud of you. You started your shooting career down on the farm, didn't you? And That's right. you started at sort of 10 years of age? That's it, yeah. Yes. Oh, I've got my parents so much to thank for. Your mum and dad? Yeah. Oh, we reckon they will have probably been watching this on television because we were live on the BBC. You haven't had a chance to talk to them yet, I, I guess. I tried to ring home, but the phone was engaged. The phone's so. engaged. Do you know why the phone was engaged? No. Because the BBC were ringing them. All right. Here they are. Your mum and dad are on the phone. Have a word. Hello, Mum. <laughs> What's Mum saying? Uh, I can't believe it. So we are a, a very, very pri private moment. Many congratulations. We'll let thank you talk you. to Mum. Okay, well done. Thank you. Uh, I just, I just don't know what to do with myself. All right, Ian's just going to have a very quick word because we're still on the BBC's phone and running their bill up. Hang on a second. <laughs> so what did, what, 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 what did Mum and Dad say? Oh, they're just speechless. Yeah, like I, I, mean, I just. I've just got so much to thank you for, they yeah. put so much into my shooting. So, so tell me, in those early days, did you go out with Dad on the farm and were you shooting early morning? Just tell me about that. Um, we, I used to come home from school and I used to you know, say to Dad, come on, let's go and shoot. And you know, every evening in the summer we used to go up to the farm and just, just shoot and it was brilliant. Yeah, and you know, homework took a back seat and now uh, yeah. it's all paid off. So yeah. And you'll have a bit of a celebration tonight, won't you? Oh, no, without doubt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, brilliant performance. Well Thank done. You. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. The phone call cost us a fortune, but it was worth it. Gary Richardson and Matt Chilton watching the triumph of Richard Fold. And hopefully Richard Plus Medal will be joining us here in the studio in about an hour's time. Now contrasting with that, we have news of the first medalist to test positive at these games over the next few hours. Gymnastics principally on BBC One, followed by cycling, boxing and judo. We concentrate on what's happening in the pool here on uh, on BBC Two with cycling uh, following that. But before we crack on with all of that action, <laughs> want to look at a, an Olympic gold medal? Richard Foles, congratulations. Thank you. Gold in the double trap. You had us all in jitters, <laughs> and you were the calmest man in the whole arena in that oh, shoot-off. you looked it. Goal. It didn't feel like it. So <laughs> it was that sudden death shoot-off was just, we can't describe you know, the emotions you're going through when you're in that situation. Um, and to get two bites at the cherry, as it were, mm. you know, I thought the first pair I'd perhaps not taken advantage. It, se it seemed like such a tense competition. Was there any time that maybe you thought, I've, I've lost it? Um, well, I mean, it was a close final anyway. Going mm. in, there was, uh, I think there was five of us within three plays, mm -hmm. which is, is nothing. Um, and, you know, at that level, anything can happen within a couple of pairs, which did towards the end. Um, here we are now. Take a look at yourself in action now. I'm sure you haven't had a chance to see how that shoot-off uh, unfolded. First of all, try and explain to us exactly how you do maintain your composure in a situation like this. It is difficult. It, it's oh. as much a mind game as it is um, the actual shooting side of it. Then you've got to be able to control yourself in pressure situations. Um, this was the first moment you thought you had a chance? Yeah, this was when I thought I had my, my best chance. To a layman, try and explain which play you select to shoot first, first of all. Every, everybody does it different ways. Um, my favourite way of shooting is I shoot the right clay first every, every time. Yeah. Um, but everybody has their own favourite ways of, of dealing with them. Yeah, and you were described in the coverage as, as a man who likes, likes to shoot fairly quickly. You don't oh. hang around too much, do you? No, I mean, it's, um, it doesn't look it on, on telly there, but on the final it was quite windy. Um, and they do bounce up and down a bit. The longer you leave them, you know, the harder they do get. So if you can try and, and get them out of the way as quick as possible. That was the moment. That was the moment. So going into that shootout, Mark Russell, he's a tough uh, competitor. He is. He won the Olympics last time and, you know, you've got to give credit to him. Mm. He's a fantastic shot and a good bloke as well. But describe what the last few hours have been like for you. Yeah, pretty, um, pretty nerve-wracking, but I got a good start this morning in the qualifying rounds. Um, I'm still shaking there. <laughs> and, um, yeah, to, to get a couple of good rounds under your belt, 
to start with does help. And since that gold medal was put round your neck, what's life been like? Oh, it's just been non-stop. Phones ringing and oh, it's been fantastic. What did we, it feel like on, on, to receive the medal and, and to hear the anthem? And it was a moment I just wanted to last forever. I, really just, I could have stayed there for weeks. We had Gary Richardson down at the shooting ground <laughs> watching it all happen. He had, I think, your mother on the telephone while he was interviewing you. Yeah, he he always pulls tricks like yeah. that. But I think, <laughs> I think your mother said while she was hanging on, oh, he looks as if he hasn't shaved today. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, I never shave on the day of a big competition. Well, just, because your hands are shaking it, too much? No, it's, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to cut through. But no, it's just a superstition of mine. Is that right? Yeah. Um, well, it certainly works. Your way into the sport was the traditional route, farming background and so on. That's right, yeah, Dad, he was the one... It was his fault and got me into it, really. Yeah. Um, and, you know, as soon as I started to, to, you know, to get good at it, I enjoyed it so much that, you know, it was just, it was for me. We've had loads of cyclists in this studio during the course of this week with gold medals, silver medals, bronze medals, explaining what, what their achievements will do for their particular sport. What do you think this will do for British shooting? Mm. You know, I think um, with Ian Peel's medal as well, you've got a silver yeah. in the trap. Um, I think, you know, with these two medals, and we've still got more to come, hopefully, as well, um, you know, it's just going to do our sport so much good at home. Point us in the direction of the medals that might still yet come, then. Um, well, we've got um, two shooters in the skeet competition, which is on Friday and Saturday, I think, which is um, Drew Harvey and John Davison. Um, and they're both capable of, of getting into the final if they get off on the right foot. And we've got uh, Mike Babb, in the um, in the rifle as well. I think he competes tomorrow. So that's tomorrow, isn't it? Best Your schedule team. for the next few days. What will that be? Party, surely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm going home tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. So um, not hanging around too long, but I'm sure we'll be getting up to a few things at home mm. once we get back. What has been the reaction back back home? Have you been? I know you spoke to your parents, but anybody else? Have they been um, calling? Oh, I've had loads of calls. Um, you know, I'm just so pleased for everybody back home that I've, mm. you know, I've managed to. And everyone we've spoken to that's had a gold medal, so they never want to take it off. You're going to wear it no, back on I'm the plane. I'm going to wear it forever. <laughs> <laughs> and it went through the metal detector coming through here. Didn't it, it did. Yeah, they let me through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They'll let anyone through. Congratulations. Go and celebrate and Thank go you. and have a shave as well. I will. Both Thank done. you. Yes, well done. We <laughs> certainly performance. enjoyed it. Well, yesterday, four years ago in Atlanta, he missed out on a medal by just three shots. But Sydney 2000 was to be the year to fulfil his dream. I really wanted to improve on my Atlanta performance. Um, and obviously once you get into a final, then anything can happen. So you've really got to make hay while the sun shines. And it certainly is funny. It wasn't just the sun that shone for Richard. Fortune came his way with a moment of glory that he'll cherish for a lifetime. I just feel the best ever. I just want, you know, this day to last forever and ever. It's just an amazing feeling. Annabelle Goodinge, BBC South Today. Terrific, terrific scenes. A very proud man.